as autumn gracefully transitions into winter, there is a poignant beauty around us that captivates our souls and stirs up a sense of amazement. The crisp, cool air carries with it the whispers of the departing season and the promises of the one yet to come. There's a profound stillness that settles over the mountains as we feel the cold season approaching. As it gets quieter, we can almost hear the heartbeat of the earth and feel the presence of something greater than oneself. And as temperatures drop, a delicate frost blankets the world, transforming even the most mundane of objects into works of art. Every blade of grass, every bare tree branch, every flower becomes adorned with glistening crystals, reminding us of the beauty that lies in simplicity and impermanence. It's very pretty. <laughs> it's very cold also. My hands are extremely cold right now, but that's fall and winter coming. It's cold. Oh, <laughs> He's a gentleman. If you are new here, welcome! We are Travis and Emily and our kitchen is our favorite place in the house as we love to use food as our main medicine to keep our bodies strong and healthy throughout the whole year. So here is our morning routine. We love to drink 32 ounces of ginger, lime and honey water upon waking up, which is good for hydration and immunity. And then 15 to 30 minutes after, this is followed by pure fresh celery juice which is full of electrolytes vitamin C and antioxidants and truly this beverage has done miracle for my digestion and our breakfast is normally a huge smoothie here it's a heavy metal detox smoothie a recipe from the medical medium which helps to kill a toxic heavy metals from the body but it's also full of fruits and veggies so this morning routine ensures us to be full of energy until lunch and honestly this is what replaces coffee for us Have you found your home for the winter? It's <laughs> so cute. So what are these? Alfalfa and broccoli? These are yep, our alfalfa broccoli sprouts. We tell them we love them because they're growing for us. <laughs> yeah, they still have to probably keep on growing for two days. And they will fill up like half the jar, I guess. Yeah, awesome. Oh, and our 
lentil sprouts are ready. They're ready to go in the fridge. So you can see they're starting to make little leaves. So yeah. So this jar, so you see how full it is? And we had put maybe an inch of seeds. It's like probably six times the quantity we have put when it grows. So it's very worth the money and the time and it's so nutritious. What smell is that? Lavender. It's a nice, peaceful, relaxing scent for the house. Yeah, it's appeasing. I like it. It's also good to remove powders. Maybe this plant you can tell us in the comments is a mother of a thousand but it absolutely doesn't grow the way we are used to it just grows like super long and it's healthy but it's not sturdy like it normally is has uh -huh. it ever happened to you is it only a special plant or let us know in the comments One of our little potas babies. Yeah. My potas baby, you. The sky finally opened up because we were in the fog for 24 hours now and everything is frosted on trees, it's so pretty.
What are we eating? What is it? It's a Szechuan noodle dish. And those are seven seeds. Yeah, vegetable Szechuan noodle. Stir fry noodle dish, I think. Try this tasting. My favorite subject. <laughs> Like it. Delicious. A little spicy. Mm -hmm. Sweet and spicy a little bit. We enjoy our spice. Yummy. So these are very loaded bushes of rose hips and that's where we come every year. Look at that, there's so many and this is one among so many others. Wild roses bushes. So these are rose hips. Very high in vitamin C and very supportive of the body during winter time. More than last year. Loaded because I always love the man so much. You know, he's, he's a very close friend. As we are walking in this already dormant nature, we can help but notice the fading beauty of autumn and feel the chill of winter approaching. There lies for us the promise of renewal, for just as the earth rests and replenishes itself during the cold months, so too do we have the opportunity to pause, reflect, contemplate and emerge stronger and more vibrant when the warmth of spring returns. It's frozen. Interesting. Pretty lighting in here. Yeah, I know this. <laughs> Thank you.
So we are finally out for a hike. We've been speaking about it for a week now. The weather is changing quickly and there's still snow on the ground up here, which is really nice. Either way, we haven't been out for a hike enough lately, so it winded us a little bit hiking up to the top of this beautiful mountain. But we wanted to take a moment to just check in, say hello, and share a little bit of what we've been up to. Yeah. The days have been shorter since we are going towards the shortest day of winter, so we have less time actually to spend outside because when we live in the forest, when darkness is there, you cannot really get out because there are like wild animals and it's the forest. There's no light at all. So really we have to be organized and intentional when we want to go for a hike because we cannot wait at five o'clock to go because it's over. And otherwise, since it's been colder, we've been like spending lots of time inside the house near the wood stove. Also, we've been cooking like soup and stew and curry and trying all kinds of food that are just warming and comforting, which we really love. We love when it's well seasoned and exotic and we love our international cuisine, if I can say that. Cooking is a creative outlet for us, for sure. That's right. And right now we are on the south facing slope of the mountains. That's where we get this beautiful sun. So we were planning on going on this hike and it, it was actually, it's on the north facing slope. So it was extremely slippery. So we just decided that we would take another hike, another little path so we could just have safe places to put our feet. Next time we will bring our crampons. Yeah, it's in a north ravine, north facing ravine, so, uh, or a shadow canyon, you could say also. And that said, it, it's, it's much cooler down there as well as a bit slippery. It's a highly traveled path, so it's all packed down and icy. And we started to go down that way and we're like, eh, you know, we don't have our crampons today and looked up this direction and it's nice and sunny. We can watch the sunset. I'm like, okay, let's go up this way. So yeah, nice to bring you up to another one of our favorite places where we can watch a beautiful sunset, have a nice little lunch before we leave and, uh, and just check in with you guys, share yeah. a little bit of what we're up to. Mm -hmm. We have our sushis and we have a nice smoothie also that we brought. And one last thing that we're going to do, and it was one of our intention by coming here. So there are like a lot of wild rosemary bushes and we want to pick the, all the rose hips we want to dry them for the winter and use them for tea because that's one of our favorite tea we use it every day yeah. it's packed with vitamin c and antioxidants and lots of properties that i don't remember right now so we'll try to get at least a pound of that today so that's what we're going to do after leaving this spot and having a little lunch one of the highest most assimilable vitamin c's as well so really good immune booster for the winter time up here, which we just love and it smells absolutely delicious when we slow dry them and uh, tastes absolutely delicious as well. So it's a mm -hmm. pleasure to have them in our environment. Yeah. Either way, wonderful to connect with you guys and to share a little bit of our day and what we're up to and our adventure. Some of our foraging of wild rose hips. We really appreciate you all staying tuned and please don't forget to like and subscribe that really helps us along in our adventure and helps us to continue to share content like this with you yeah we love you all guys yeah i love you all thanks for being there yeah take care yeah. <laughs> you're finding a good spot for us to eat mm -hmm. this one is about to hide behind the mountain so we have about five minutes of daylight, well, of sunlight to eat. Because after that, the temperature drops extremely quickly. So this is what we are having as a lunch, some leftover sushis from yesterday. And we have a little bit of little container of sauce there with some coconut aminos and lemon juice and and I'm going to eat that one after. No, that's not what I mean. You know what I mean. She's flirting with me again, guys. <laughs> and I like it. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. Bon appétit. Good. Mm, that's good. Mm. 
Ich höre mich, ja. Very delicious late afternoon lunch. A perfect little sunset picnic. Mm. Mm -hmm. So much gratitude for life. So much gratitude for this beautiful relationship that we share. Mm. And so much gratitude to share that with you all. The same. We appreciate you staying tuned and enjoying the journey with us. Yeah. Last piece. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, a little heart shape. Adding layers. Yeah, I'll do the same. I'll add my vest on. So we're gonna pick this and put it in this beautiful little waxy bag, which is normally we use it more for mushrooms you pass it through your belt but i don't have a belt right now and it's kind of cold so i don't think i'm gonna feel much i will just use my two hands and do that Rose bushes have lots of thorns, so it's hard for the hands a little bit. You always want to wait until after the first frost. The rose hips get sweeter. And the uh, and they're also easy to find because all the leaves drop. Mm -hmm. And we will make sure to leave at least fifty percent of the fruit because there is this author. The, of the book Braiding Sweetgrass that I really love. I don't remember her name right now, but she's from First Nation lineage. And she says, never take the first one, never take more than half and never take the last one. So we follow that rule when we are foraging any wild food. They smell good. You can smell them now. Oh, they are so abundant. Mm -hmm. It's very impressive. Literally pulling off like handfuls at a time. There's nothing better after a little walk than having a nice fire in the wood stove. Thanks for doing that, Mara. My hands really need it.
Ça fait plaisir. Stay